Hey Dave, thanks a lot for taking a look. Um, I'm Jessica Dickey. Maybe you want to tell me a little bit about your daughter. Daughter? Dr. Smithton tells me you have a very interesting situation in your hands. Situation? Or, or how would you describe it? Well, not as a situation. Yes. So... How did he describe it? He told me that you're back in contact with her. May I smoke? Um, have I been less than clear about the smoking here? You could get a smokeless ashtray. I understand that, but I couldn't use it on hospital grounds. Still a smokeless ashtray. Nobody would know. This isn't a private office. This is a private office, isn't it? You don't share it. No, I, I don't share it. He thinks I'm crazy. That's why he's sending me to you for some sort of evaluation. You're actually not a doctor at all. I assure you that I am. Well, that's what all your stupid writing is. You're putting down marks against me. Marks? Yeah, what, you've got two columns there. One for good, one for bad. I keep getting the bad mark. Look. Poorly written and misaligned paragraphs. No columns. And those are my certificates and diplomas on the wall there. A little cliché, don't you think? Yes. A little cliché. My daughter ran away from home. I see. When she was a teenager, and she never returned. I see. No, I don't think you do. My daughter disappeared with my postdoc at the time, a boy, man, named Richard Silner, who was 15 years her senior. Oh. Did I read about that? Most likely. Were there very cruel headlines at the time? Yes, thank you very much for reminding me of that. Oh. I'm... Look, don't tell me you're sorry. That word exhausts me. I've heard enough. I've heard that enough to never want to hear it again. But thank you. I know you're trying hard to be kind. So then, after years, I get a call, a phone call, and it's her. Your daughter. Out of the blue. Believe it. Is. Is. Yes, it's her. Do you believe it? It's her. See, this is what my husband says. Is it her? Is it her? I tell him it's her because it is her. My daughter is calling me. She calls and we have conversations. And what do you say to each other? We're in negotiations. I'm having a hard time figuring out where I am. Should I help you with that? Okay, um, can you... Tell me your name? Why can't you just call me Mom? Oh. Shit. What? What is it? Um, I've got an idea. <laughs> what are you doing in my purse? How about I call you... Juliana? How's that? Well, I think that's a little weird. Oh, good. And a contact number. Um... Wait a minute. Juliana? How long have you been here? Oh, all my life. I mean, hours? Days? Neither of us comes out during the week. Though I know that Frank's coming out on his weekends because of the, uh, the lipstick on the glasses. Uh, okay, yes. Help yourself. There's um, noodles and dumplings and egg rolls and soup. And Kung Pao chicken, and sweet and sour shrimp, and mushu, and I'm, I'm, I'm like doing a lot of emotional eating right now. What's emotional eating? Uh, it's just like it sounds. I don't know why. It only makes everything worse. <laughs> everything what, sweetheart? Uh, it's a long story that I am not going to tell you about. Uh, yes! Hi! Um, I am calling about... Yes, uh, Juliana. Yes. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, my God. Thank God. Yes, I am. She is right here. Uh, in my house, and you are... Well, no wonder. You must be so worried. Um, yeah, I think she's all right. She's... Wow, she's really thirsty. Uh, sorry, hold on. Juliana? Juliana, hold on, and I'm, I'll help you with those. No, no, she, she's trying to eat, and I, I think she's starving. Juliana? Oh, what? Yes. I am. On the cape. Ah, uh, yes, yes, that is my address. Okay, this is... Well, this is really odd. Uh, then I'll... Well, great. 
I'll, um, I'll see you soon. Uh, should I throw a fucking dinner party or something? <laughs> Sorry, no, that's a bad joke. Um, okay, I guess you don't need directions. Okay. Juliana, did you used to live here? Mm, long time house? ago. Yeah, delicious. Oh, here, look, you're getting out all over. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. First, uh, look up. <laughs> here. Good. Now, it's so hungry. I know, I know, but it's okay. Here, open. Chew it. Mmm. More? Who was it on the phone? Uh, that was your husband. Ian? He's apparently right around the corner. <laughs> what? Rice? Chicken. Okay, open. Good. It's, um, it's a really wonderful house. Mm. I, I didn't think ever really that I could fight so ferociously over something. I mean, the thought of has crossed my mind and maybe it's because Frank is such a prick that I, I just want to take things from him. <laughs> Um, I probably should just let him have the place, the, the life that was going to happen for me here. It's, it's not that life anymore, so I don't really know what I'm holding on to. Anyway, I, I just wanted to let you know that I've always been able to tell that this house, this is going to sound weird, that it's been loved. What is it? What is it? You're not Laurel, are you? I... am. I'm Laurel. I'm Laurel. <laughs>